So the transition, the, the, the transition is not a question about reorganizing this world in a, in, in a way so everybody can get a, a full stomach and so everybody get heat and so on. It's actually more a question about that we, we, we will get the possibility to create it totally on our own and just redesign everything. Even make the uh, Mother Earth uh, bigger. Or Coll collectively, collectively, we create everything, and individually, we create everything in our own reality. Mm -hmm. But collectively, together, we create the collective reality. And like I say, those at the core of the control system understand that if they can program our sense of reality collectively, they will manifest the world they want. Because mm -hmm. we're creating our own reality all the time by what we what we what, what we are. Therefore, what we put out, and we attract. Um, but there is a difference between being in control of your own um, perception and therefore creating a reality that suits you and allowing external programming of your perception, which then through uh, your taking on that externally programmed perception draws to you a holographic people, places, ways of life, locations reflection of what you've been programmed to put out. Mm -hmm. The, the, this is why t taking our own uh, minds back uh, and opening our minds to consciousness um, and, and living our own truth, our own perception, that's how we change our reality. So we break out of the program robot reality that everyone else is manifesting because they're all taking on this collective belief system in who they are and what the world is and how it works. Um, and. You know, this is the level where it's, it's all going on. I see this world that we're experiencing, what I call the holographic reality, I see this as a movie screen. By the time it's hit here, it's a done deal. We're just experiencing it, it's done. It's here that this changes, and it's, the, it's here that when we change, it must change. Because we're changing what's being projected. Um, and, and this is um, why the idea is to hold us in five sense reality and get us to believe that all change has to take place here when all it is is a, is, is a reflection of something here. So this is where you change anything. So don't let them know that. Think you change it here. It's like walking onto the stage of a movie theater and screaming at the stage because you don't like the movie. Mm. Don't like the movie, go and change the reel. That, you ain't gonna change it here, mate. Um, and, and this is why understanding consciousness, reality, mind, and how it all works is absolutely the key to changing anything. So they know that. That's why they want this looking this way and not this way. So when, when, when scientists say that uh, we only have a certain amount of oil left and it has taken tens of millions, hundreds of millions of years of... Rubbish. This. Total rubbish. Total rubbish. First of all, even, even, on, even on the oil level, there's far more oil in the world than ever they're telling us. I mean, there's enormous, sounds crazy but true, there's enormous amounts of oil under America, but they're importing oil. Why? Because they don't want to um, uh, let abundance run free because um, abundance equals choice equals freedom, scarcity equals dependency equals control. That's why they, 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 they do that. But even on a vibrational level, oil is just a vibrational field which manifests in, in, in that way. And anyway, you know, once you move to a higher level of consciousness, you don't even use things like that for, for, for power and all the rest of it. You, you, you get into the levels of, of, of energy. And again, you know, you've mentioned Tesla, and there are others too, who've understood how you can tap into energy fields and turn it into usable warmth and power. Why has it all been suppressed? Because what would that give people? It would give people abundance. And they don't want abundance, because abundance equals... Um, choice and choice equals freedom. So it's, it's, it's all about that. But anyway, you know, we are at a, a, a wonderful time, consciousness having an experience, to experience seeing a period of control come down, possibly traumatically, possibly with greater upheavals, I think so. Um, and then seeing an, another uh, greater uh, world experience. Some people are actually coming to, to take back uh, control. They're actually they're actually getting totally united uh, with nature and, and being yeah. capable, capable of, of, yeah. of, of... All these things like, he talks to trees. Well, you know, what is happening when you talk to a plant? You're exchanging vibrational information, which it is able to decode. It doesn't... When you say, hello, plant, how are you today? It doesn't hear that. 
just you know what it does is feel and con at the, that energetic communication this is why you know when they've put um, electrical um, technology on plants and they've had people walk in a room mm -hmm. and, and, and be very nice to the plant and then they've had someone else walk in the room and be very aggressive to the plant and then when the aggressive person comes back in the room the moment they enter the room the plant reacts mm. uh, against that because just that communication is taking place of course we're communicating with everything and everything's communicating with us we've just been desensitized so we don't listen we don't hear we don't feel because we're in mind and and you know that pandora moon where you know they were communicating with the plant world and the animal world and that's where we're headed, because that's where we once were. And, you know, yes, there are many challenges, but, you know, just think. This could go on forever as it's been. What a nightmare. Let's get rid of it. We are getting rid of it. It's doomed. Okay, nice. Great. Thanks for talking to me. God, I've talked for ages, haven't I? Thank you. That's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Oh, dear, yeah. This is... Um place where we in a few minutes are going to interview Mr. David Icke, coming directly from Great Britain. It's in the basement of Axel Gullsmeden Hotel, very close to the main train station in Copenhagen, opposite the Borger Dydskolen, which means something like the People's Moral School.